My name is Gavin Evans, and this is my review of 12 Hour Shift. Now, a couple of summers back, I was on night shift working pretty much 12 hour shifts, and I gotta say that I do not recommend it. So, anyways, those are my thoughts on 12 hour shift. Let me know what you think about 12. I'm just kidding. I'm actually talking about a movie called 12 hour shifts. And it's actually a pretty good movie, a movie that not a lot of people saw or watched, but they should. This movie is one of those movies where you watch bad people do bad things and you watch dumb people do dumb things. So by design, it's meant to be infuriating and frustrating. You will be yelling at the screen in frustrating like, get your shit together, oh my god. This movie is really effective in that way. There are so many scenes that piss me off and they were meant to and because of that, that's some good filmmaking. And this is one of those movies where things go from bad to worse to worse to walls and just the way it escalates keeps you engaged throughout. It starts off and you're like, okay, what kind of movie is this gonna be? But then just as you watch the situations escalate, you get more and more invested into this movie. Now I will say that the last act is definitely the weakest point. I just think it bit off more than it could chew and it definitely shows in its quality. At a point I was just like, okay movie, pull it back, pull it back. You're getting too convoluted. Let's just keep it simple. I like what they were trying to do, but I don't think it was pulled off in a in a good way. So because of that, the last act is definitely the weakest part, but up until then, I really like this movie. I think it's tense, I think it's thrilling. The performances are all really good. The main character is played by Angela Bettes, which if you've seen the 2002 movie May, she was also in, and she's good in this movie. Her character is one of those characters that's always giving everyone the Finger, she's telling them off all the time and because of that she does feel a bit of a caricature in moments but considering that's the material given to her I think she does a good job with it but I think the standard in this entire movie was Chloe Farnsworth I think she was fantastic she is the dumbest most frustrating character and the actress just played it off so perfectly. She got really under my skin I really hated her and that was the goal of that character so kudos to her uh, there's one other actor, and I can't find the name of him, but he was one of the bad guys in the last act. And I gotta say that I thought he was really bad in this movie. He just felt too comedically over the top, and I didn't really... I thought he was really bad in it. But the, the rest of the supporting cast, for the most part, does a good job. And the directing of this movie by Bria Grant... I haven't seen her other movies, but she does a really good job directing this movie. So like I said, I think this movie escalates really well throughout. I think it's tense. I think it's thrilling. The performances are for the most part pretty good. And I just like this world that they created here, but this sinister, dark world of what Gnosis can do on night shift. And I know it's entirely fictional, but I was still interested by what was going on in this movie. And even though the last act is definitely the worst part of this movie, I still definitely recommend it. So I'm going to go ahead and give 12 Hour Shift a 7 out of 10. Okay, have you seen 12 Hour Shift? Have you been on a 12 Hour Shift? I'm sorry to hear that. My condolences to you. But let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon and Gavin out.